Hey everybody, today I have a new haul for you. Ba -dum -ba. <clears throat> hey everyone, today I have a new haul for you. Today's haul is from Mod Cloth, one of my personal faves. Now this haul is sponsored by Mod Cloth, but I will tell you when I was shopping for the items that I would feature in today's haul, I had such a hard time because I wanted everything. <laughs> so it's a good, good, good haul. One of my personal favorite hauls as of recent times because of how excited I am for everything. I am gonna unbox most of it with you. There were two items that came in a separate package, so I'm gonna do those first, and then I'm gonna jump into what's in the huge, huge box of Mod Gloss stuff I have. So let's jump right in. The first item I'm obsessed with is this black skirt with an elastic waistband. It's got fun little silver sparkles there, and then goes down to a black tool with silver stars. Look. Ah, I'm so obsessed with it. It's soft, it's light, it's comfortable. Who doesn't love a tulle skirt in the fall? And it's sparkly. It's so sparkly. And I love sparkle. I don't care how old I am. I will be wearing sequins until I die. Quote me now, you heard it here. I will be 80 years old rocking purple sequin jumpsuits if they exist. Cause I, it's my aesthetic, sparkle. It is made out of just like a soft tulle here and then the lining is a little bit thicker. It's like a, you know, I don't know what this is exactly. It feels like a rayon, but it's like a nicer rayon. It's not that sticky one, maybe acetate-y, but it feels really nice and it's also really light. I've actually already tried it on and I am obsessed with it. So excited. I'm obsessed with this skirt. It is so light. It's like I'm not wearing anything. It's just, it's just fun. The next t-shirt I got, because it just spoke to me, I've been going through some pretty rough times right now. My grandmother is really sick, she's on hospice. And I've been battled with this feeling of like, feeling you know, sad and upset about her passing and then also feeling guilty because I know that she wouldn't want me to be sad and upset but rather like celebrate her life by continuing to live mine. So I saw this shirt and it just, it really spoke to me. And it just says strong as hell. And I kind of feel like it's my shirt for living right now. I need to be strong as hell where I am in life right now. And you know, sometimes wearing words helps you feel and live those words, at least for me it does. So I absolutely love this. It's on a standard white t-shirt. It's from a brand that they purchased from called Daisy Natives. And I have had their shirts before and they are very comfortable, very soft. Um, and I got this in a 3X and I just love it. It's cute and pink and it's gonna give me some good vibes as I go through some challenges right now, which is like what we all need, just a little cheer up when we're going through challenges. So this is a t-shirt. It's pretty much a normal t-shirt, just a cool phrase. Just a real cool phrase. Now, this box. I wasn't kidding. It's a big old box. I just also want you to know that there's something in this box that I have been so excited for that when I get it, I'm gonna squeal like a little girl. You'll see in a second. Okay, I got the box open. The first item, a lot of noise. <laughs> I am pumped for this. I love plaid. I also love vintage plaid. And I saw this skirt and I was like, yes! It is an olive green, orange and mustard yellow plaid skirt. It has nice little pleating, not too heavy a pleat, just a light pleat. So this would actually wash really well because the pleats should hold in the wash. It also has this fun little corresponding belt that goes here. You could also swap this for a different belt if you want like a slightly different look. The lining on it is a really soft, shiny acetate, but not the crappy acetate, the good acetate. And the top feels like it's a cotton flannel. Now I'm gonna look and confirm. Broop. Yeah, so I'm right. The shell is 100% cotton and the lining is polyester. I just think this is so cute. It's definitely vintage inspired, but so on trend with this season, which is really about plaid and kind of that uh, rustic, I'm gonna go milk a cow, ride a horse, and shuck a barn look but I'm gonna do it real fancy. And I'm just obsessed with this skirt. So excited about it. Literally so excited. So I absolutely 
completely adore this skirt. The only thing that's like a little irritating is there's no pockets. So this shirt comes in a couple different colors. I only say that because I tried for a really long time to decide which color to get. And I went with this cream because I felt like it was the most versatile, the one I could use the most. And it's a silky blouse with a little bit of a puff sleeve, which you know I love, collared, and then it has a nice little sheen to it. It comes down to a nice little cuff here with three buttons, which is adorable. And looking at the actual construction of it, it feels so silky, but I'm trying to find what it's made out of. It's 100% polyester, but it really does have that like silky feel to it. And then just a beautiful little sheen, which I don't know if you can actually see on camera, but it's got this lovely, like not quite um, satiny where it's like so shiny, but just like a little glow to it. Like I like my cheek with a little bit of highlight. That's how this shirt is. <sighs> Looks like they weren't dressed for the occasion. Oh man, this is bringing out rude step wife vibes. Oh my God. I feel so luxe. I feel like I just got a whole bunch of money. If only my feelings were reality. I would like lots of money. Thank you. <laughs> the next item is a lovely pair of green corduroy pants. I love corduroy. I don't know why more people don't like get on the train for corduroy, but I am here for corduroy. I find it super comfortable. I love when it's like corduroy with a little stretch like these are. You got some nice stretch there. They're comfortable and they're warm. And in New York, when it is cold in the winter, you want to be wearing corduroy or velvet. Anything that's like a thicker pile fabric, aka girthy. Um, these are so soft. Also, can we talk about how Corduroy and Velour always have like the best feeling against your legs. I don't know why the reverse sides of those fabrics feel so dreamy, but they do. These are no exception. They do have a little split down at the ankle, which is fun. Makes it a little bit easier for shoes, but still definitely could work with boots. And yeah, they're just super cute and I'm excited about them. Ooh, it's so fall. Everything is so fall in this haul. It makes me really happy. Speaking of which, I got really excited and bought a whole bunch of pumpkin scented candles. Yeah, it's August, I don't care. My house smells like delicious pumpkin pie. What does your house smell like? Well, maybe you're burning the same candles, but if not, you should get on that because it's festive season, or at least I'm like preempting it. I think I preempt fall more than I preempt Christmas because I just want like fall. Fall is my season. It's also where my birthday is, October, baby. Okay, so these are ridiculously comfortable. They are a little big in the waist for me, so probably what I'll do is just wear a belt with them. And they have belt loops, so that makes that fairly easy. But otherwise, super comfortable. Super comfortable. Looking at this up close, and my eyes are just going, ah! So I saw this on site, and literally, I don't think I've fallen in love with an item as much as I fell in love with this plaid. Just look at it. This is amazing plaid with orange, blue, and yellow. Just so you guys, whoa. If you guys didn't know, orange is my favorite color. I also really love the combo of orange and blue together. So when I saw this, I could not resist. It's got two cute little front pockets here. Not super functional, but definitely design-wise adorable. It's a nice little A-line, so it gives you a little bit more room as you go down the hips. It is shorter, and it too is pretty heavyweight, which is great as we get into the fall season. Looking at what it's made of, oh, get over here. It is polyester and wool on the topper, so this is like a thick, warm topper, and then the lining is polyester and spandex, and the lining does have a little give to it. I just am obsessed with this. And the only thing that makes me more obsessed with this is that it has a matching jacket. So in just a second here, I'm gonna show you that. So it's definitely really short, which I knew it would be. Um, but looking at it now, I'm not in love with these pockets. Maybe it'll look better with the jacket on, but like, this feels weird. So this is the jacket I was talking about. <laughs> the same adorable plaid. And it is, it's just equally as good. <laughs> yes! This jacket with the skirt, obsessed. I'm about to work while I work. But it's a little bit shorter on the cut 
because that's the style of this look. It's got, I believe this is like a three quarter length sleeve on it, so definitely a little hip, modern look. If you did not know this, plaid coordinated suits, super in this season. Like it's a style aesthetic that's coming. So if you are not on the plaid train, whoop whoop, get on it. This is just a really good fall weight blazer. It's got a nice little stand-up color here. It's lined in the same dramatic blue color as the skirt was. Same fabrics, wool, wool and polyester top and then a polyester lining. And it's just gorgeous, darling. It has the same kind of pockets here. They're a little bit more useful on the jacket because in the skirt, they're kind of in a little weird spot. But here they are sewn shut, so I'm not gonna open them yet. But they're right here, boop, boop, boop. And they're just fun little pockets. And those do actually function as pockets. So I'm really excited about that set. It was the thing I was probably most excited about in the haul. Actually, not true. There's one thing that I'm really excited about, but it's kind of lame, but it's not lame to me. So when we get there, I'll talk to you about it. So this dress. Oh, sorry. I'm like so excited about this haul because I love everything. <laughs> this dress is... So if you don't know, I'm going to Shanghai in October. And I've been watching a lot of Chinese dramas. <laughs> because I like to like learn about the culture and what way to like learn about the culture than their popular television shows. So I saw this and I was just like, this is perfect for Shanghai. It's modest, but dramatic and ah, uh, this is a velvet burnout dress. It's got these amazing bat wing loose sleeves that go out and then it falls at a mid length, not super clingy. The print is to die for. I'm obsessed with it. Now it's, it's, it's a burnout velvet, which means here is a little bit sheer. And then just show you through here. These flowers right here, like where my thumb is, that's sheer. Underneath it, it has a black tank. So you could effectively wear this without the tank or with the tank, depending on how scandalosa you want to be. I'm gonna wear it with the tank and I'm just, I'm so excited to go to like a fancy cocktail bar and wear this on the front. It's got this nice little knotted detail right at the bust line. So, and also it has like a modesty button. So if you want to be scandaloso, you leave it open. If you want to be slightly more conservative, you can button it shut. And then it comes down again to that knot detail right here. And you probably can see most of these details a little bit better in the try on side of the, the video, just because it's kind of one of those things that the fabric um, is hard to show on camera without it like being stretched over a body. So one thing about this dress I didn't even notice until I put it on is that it's a wrap dress that this comes across and gives you like a tulip shape here at the bottom. I will say tulip shaped shirts always give me a ton of nerves, but it's okay because this one has like a little lining underneath it. So even if it were to like stretch open when you sit down, which is what happens. There's that lining there to protect you. So I was like, thank you. Uh, mustard yellow parade, because I always love mustard yellow. And I don't have a mustard yellow sweater. So I got one, and I'm not gonna lie, I got it to go with the suit, because I just thought mustard yellow shirt and that suit, bananas. So this is a waffle print mustard yellow top. It's a lightweight sweater. So it's got a fun little detail and pattern to it, but it doesn't add a lot of weight to the outfit. It is full length sleeve. So if you're wearing it underneath a three quarter length top, it'll be kind of nice because you'll, you'll get a little peak of the yellow down below where the jacket ends, which is maybe why I picked it. Maybe. <laughs> It's just a nice lightweight sweater, um, very versatile, very comfortable. But again, that pattern is gonna add a little bit of fun. And if you look at the waffle print, there is some pointillism detail in there as well. There's just little um, spots around each waffle section. So I think it's really, really cute and a very interesting sweater, but also very accessible because it's one color. It's not like a crazy print. It's basic, but it's beautiful. I really love this on me. It's probably just because it's mustard yellow. <laughs> Here's another blouse that I wanted in 18 colors. Seriously, it comes in like red and black and white and blush, which is what I finally decided on because of my hair, which who knows how long I'll have this hair, but I'm making decisions based on my hair these days. It's okay. It has an adorable little dolly, uh, Dobby collar or paper boy collar with a little ruffle around it. Do, and a dobby collar looks like that. So it's not, it's more of a rounded collar versus a straight collar. We've got a little bit of ruching here at the shoulder to add a little bit of a puff. 
and it comes down to not much of a uh, like it's not like a full mutton arm like the other one but it comes down to a cuff that matches what's done on the collar so there's a little bit of ruffle detail there as you can see and a single button closure and it's a solid button down shirt what I will say is it's not actually undone, like you can't unbutton it, it's sewn together. And there's a little bit of a pattern detail to the shirt which you can see up close. It's a little bit of a dot detail in the sewing. It's a little extra detail that kind of brings the shirt to life and gives it a little bit more zhuzh, which I just learned is a Yiddish word. I've been saying it forever, but it's a Yiddish word to means to add to or like make better and it's also spelled super weird. So if you want to know how to spell it, just put on the closed captions because I had to explain how to spell it because of last haul I used it. <laughs> and my closed caption person is like, what is this word? And I was like, it's zhuzh, it's Yiddish, here you go. So other than this being a wrinkly hot mess because I just took it out of the bag and it definitely needs like a little steam ironing. I love it, it's so cute. Is it sad that I like it just because it matches my hair? Because that's what my feelings are right now. I'm like, oh, it looks so good with my hair. <laughs> There's so many things in this haul. I went crazy. Crazy over clothing. Ha ha ha. Oh my gosh, I forgot I got this. <laughs> okay, I got this because I just wanted something fun that was Halloween-y, but like not too much effort. And it's a jumpsuit that has a rib cage and a heart. And what I love about this, talk about like the most easy jumpsuit to get into because it's got two buttons here on the sleeve. So you just put it on and then button that so it's super easy to get into. It's a lightweight jersey fabric and bum 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 pockets. It's so cute, so fun, so festive without having to go crazy. I'm obsessed with it, I mean how cute is that? For all my summer goths, you need to get on this because this is perfect wear for the warm weather that still exists with a little gothy vibe to it. I'm obsessed. I love it. It's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, I just want to wear this to the airport. Like, it's so comfortable. It's like wearing a onesie. It's very pajama-like. It'd look cute with like a bandeau top or even like a little crop top underneath. But for real, you know, this is awesome. <laughs> okay. This is an adorable little blouse to be worn under like a suit coat. I put it as an alternative for the suit I got to see if it would work out, but I loved the bright red color. I think it's a super fun color for fall. Red can sometimes be too much for people. This would be a red here, but this berry color usually works on most skin tones, so it's kind of like your safe red if you're afraid of wearing a red. It has a nice little slightly dark, darker contrasting detail with the tie here in the front, and then again, it is a little bit sheer and it's in a dot pattern. So as you can see here, the dot pattern is like that so you can kind of see me so it is a sheerer shirt so if you're afraid of showing a little skin though not much because the dots are pretty close together this may not work for you but I think it's super rad so I really like this I will say for me I'm probably always gonna have to wear it tucked in just because here is just a little bit tight on my hips so I would probably always wear it like so but it works perfectly for like tucked in with a skirt. What's in there? Oh, I know what these are. Not what's in about them too. Oh. Okay. What happens when you take my two favorite things, corduroy slash velour fabric and overalls, and put them together? Bum, 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 bum. Corduroy overalls in this lovely maroonish brown color. Oh my god. And. The lining is cats. Meow. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. I'm like, I'm like literally nuts. Again, these have buttons down the side which allow you to have more of a fitted feel on the waist. They're a straight long leg corduroy overall. So these are bananas and I'm obsessed. You might hear that a bunch of salt because I was literally like, I can't wait till this stuff gets there. I can't wait to try it all on. I'm so excited. And you know, it was great because I was kind of having a bad day. Dana's staying with my parents while, oh, I just knocked a whole bunch of stuff over. Um, Dana's staying with my parents right now. So it's weird because I come home and he's not here and this haul is making me feel 
better because it's just like nice to open a box of stuff you love when you're feeling kind of like a little sad inside. Jada, I miss you. Mommy loves you. Oh my gosh. I would wear this exact look out. This is legitimately probably an outfit I will wear in the future. Here's what I like about these. I like that the bib is smaller. I think it's interesting and different. And they are so unbelievably comfortable. Like I could sleep in these overalls. I might tonight. I have an early flight tomorrow. I might sleep in them. But yeah, they're super duper comfortable. And I just think they look unique, which I'm always looking out for. This skirt I picked because it's just in my favorite color. It's such a rich floral. Do you see how awesome that floral is? And I just thought, I need it. It's gonna look great with my hair. It's so fantastico. And the colors are just alive and well. And you know, girl loves a skirt with a pocket. The lining is that same kind of upgrade polyester lining. It's got a little shine to it because this is a fancy skirt and fancy skirts need to shine. Anyway, I just thought it was so cute. It's got a little bit of an elastic back here in the back, so it's gonna make it more of a comfort waist. The zipper though is located here on the side, though if you know me, I just put it on over my head because I don't have any resistance in this area, but if you've got a larger chest and actually have to do the whole zip on zip thing, this one's pretty easy because it's on the side. Super hard when they're in the back. Is that just me? Because I feel like it's a struggle to put something on when the zipper is in the back. Like, seriously, it's like an uh, intelligence puzzle and I'm not smart enough to figure it out. So this skirt is exactly how I imagined it would be. It's comfortable, it's cute, and it's pocketed. Plus I think it just looks so fancy. This lovely sweater, and I got the colors to match the overalls, not gonna lie. And it's got three little buttons here. This is their charter school sweater that they typically have. It's a staple for them. They have a bunch of different colors but I have not seen this stripey pattern before. It just came out for this season. And if you look, ah, oh, it's gold and burgundy. So mustard yellow and burgundy stripes on a cream base. We got a uh, kind of burgundy color here around the neck. Comes down to a three quarter sleeve and then that burgundy piping down at the end. And then again to finish in kind of the ribbing at the bottom of the sweater. It's lightweight, it's comfortable. I believe it is made out of Viscose, nylon, and polyester. It's super soft, like ridiculously soft. And colors wise, it screams fall. Just throwing it out there. It looks like I'm cheering for Gryffindor when I'm solidly a Ravenclaw. I know, Gryffindor's cooler. I'm just a nerd. Now we get into the non-clothing items. If you did not know this, I love hats. And I've actually been wearing hats a lot and I don't know why I'm not taking pictures of them, but I saw this one and I was like, yes, queen. Ooh, actually it looks really good on. Ooh. So I got this maroon hat <laughs> and it's just Baker boy style, Baker hat style. I have a black Baker boy hat that I wear a lot and love. And so I was like, ooh, I need to get this in another color because I just, I do. This one is super comfortable. It looks really great. It has the triangle detail that comes down to that button. It's one solid color, and it does have elastic in the back to be very comfortable on your head. I will say if you're looking for hats, always look for that elastic, because if it doesn't, it can really feel tight and uncomfortable on your head, especially if you have a big head like me. <laughs> like, I have a really big head, so I was kind of a little nervous this wouldn't fit, but it actually, it fits really well. Do I look cooler now? Like, how much Cool it, coolness did I go up. P.S. Remember when I was talking about pumpkin candles? I wasn't lying. There's one, two burning right now. That's a fall scent in the kitchen and a pumpkin scent in the living room. As you can be. Whew. The first. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. It's not even Christmas. What? This is a pair of shoes. Big surprise because it's in a shoe box like you'd expect it to be a pair of shoes. This pair of shoes, oh gosh, I forgot I got these and they're so cute. They are a mustard yellow wedge heel, pointed, adorable. What I also love about this shoe that I noticed when I was taking it out of the box, I gotta get this, ah, got you. Oh, and there's still a little thing in there. Boop, 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 boop. 
What I noticed when I was taking them out of the box that was really impressive to me is that when you wear this type of heel, this does get worn down fairly quickly. You can usually get it replaced at a shoe cobbler. Yes, cobblers still exist. But they actually gave you ad additional like little rubber things so you can pull this one off and put a new one on should you need to. So you're gonna get a lot of wear before you have to take them to a cobbler. Here's why I like this. This whole thing is elasticized. So it's gonna go on your foot, but it's also gonna move with your foot. It's a nice little kind of suede fabric, though it is vegan, so if you are concerned about that, it is a vegan suede. And it's really cute. And it's gonna go with all the things that I just got that have this color in them, which is like half of this haul. Oh, these are great too. These are, along my lines of favorite types of shoe ever, is velvet. These are a velvet flat with a little tie here on the front, and let me tell you why I love these. If you've heard me, heard me complain about buckles and straps, how they drive me nuts, this has got that lovely zipper entry. You just unzip, slip, zip, and zip away to fun. I rhymed a lot, I did it. I was wondering what my last rhyme was gonna be, and then zip just came to my mind. I was like, good job, girl. They're very, very cute, and they're like a nice, neutral kind of mauvey gray. They can kind of go brown or black or whatever. And it's a little adorable little detail there. Again, I got it to go with all of this stuff. <laughs> this has been the one thing that I was most excited about for the whole haul and it's not even clothing. Hold on, I need to get, I need to open it properly. I can't believe any scissors. Okay, I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna have to brute strength rip this because I cannot find any scissors. Are you guys ready? I want you to know that in 1993, I desperately wanted one of these and I did not get it. And I have waited since then for this moment when I would finally get a caboodle. Oh my God. It's like straight up vintage style caboodle. I'm gonna give you guys a moment to just marvel at what this is. <laughs> this is dreams coming true, literally. This is, whoa, I'm old, 20 years in the making. 20 years in the making. More than 20 years, 25 years. Oh my gosh, I'm so old. I've wanted this and it's finally come home. So, dreams come true. If you believe it and achieve, you will achieve it. Just sometimes way, 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 way in the future. <laughs> Woo! So that is it guys. That is all for my mod cloth haul. Links to all of the items are down below in the description box as they always are. If you like what you saw, click subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them in the comments section. With that guys, I will check you later. Have an amazing rest of your week. I love you all and peace. I've got you caboodle. I've got you finally, finally it's happy. Been to me, I got a caboodle that you can see. Finally, it's happened to me right in front of my eyes, and I just can't fight it. I'm so excited, no, 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 and I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm gonna use you, use you. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm gonna use you, use you. Every breath you take, every move you make, every step you take, every move you make, I'll be carrying you. Actually, I'm not going to carry it forever. It's going to sit on my desk. <laughs>